Uh, today I'm in the Honda shop in Biganga and picking up my new bike, um, the XR 150. Oh, I'm excited! And yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, I love this bike. It's the Honda TMX 125. Um, it's had so many memories and I've been in so many places on it, but it's time to upgrade because yeah, it's not quite getting up the hills anymore. So let's go down the Honda shop and see what they got. Hey Koya! <laughs> ah, hello sir! Good afternoon! <laughs> My bike finally come! Yes sir! Yes sir! Okay, okay. Over here. Maybe you like this one? Oh wow! Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's nice! Ah, there it is, wow! The reason I chose this bike is it's got the extra large seat, which I think might be more comfortable when doing long rides. It's got this, uh, good travel, uh, still got the carburetor, so that might be more reliable in the, when I'm uh, in the jungle. Um, uh, what did I say? Large fuel tank. It's got the good rack on the back. Ah, the good thing about when you buy the bike here in the Philippines at the moment, you get Three years regal and yeah, I don't know. I'll do the paperwork now and we'll take it for a test ride. Uh, so this is the new battery. Yeah. Oh what's this here Koi? Is that like toolbox? Ah uh, yes sir. Ah cool. That up, uh, plat screw, sir. Ah, oh, okay. Hi, sir. <laughs> Hi, sir. Welcome to our branch. <laughs> <laughs> make a new. Uh, you make a new look. Alternative road. Uh, if you're buying a bike in the Philippines now, you need your ACR card, your driver's license, and an email, phone number, and the cash, and then you're good to go. Okay, the whole process takes about an hour or two to do all the paperwork. You get three services for free and two years warranty on the engine so yeah all that for 98,900 peso 98,900 peso 1,000 kilometers you need to first change oil like that okay so after that just go back and here you, you should have buy the oil and the service is free okay Wow, that's great.
notice about this bike is it's pretty zippy. Turns good, handles good, brakes are good. Seat, I like the seat. It's like you sit up more straight on it. Uh -huh. Actually, I'm really loving this bike. about this bike is so quiet. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, let's see how it goes on the gravel. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. That's my XR150 and I'm really happy with it. Um, I already put the box on which was 2000 peso and oh, that's super handy. Definitely really happy with that for my stuff and yeah as you can see it zipped along got up to 80 k's no problem at all which is plenty fast enough for me um the suspension's good the brakes are good um i filled it up it took 12 liters so that's yeah, a nice big fuel tank ah the i tested the light last night really good like yeah i think it has a halogen bulb so it's like i don't know super bright anyway more than bright enough for me um yeah really really happy with it i think the only thing that i could knock on it is i can fix that easy is the stand it only has a tiny little um it's like it's so muddy and sandy here that just actually last night while i was sitting there the stand went down into the mud and the bike fell over <laughs> so it's already been over actually i cracked the mirror when it fell over <laughs> But that's nothing that was my fault and yeah very happy with it can't wait to take it for heaps more adventures and handles so good off-road so i'm gonna be able to find so many more secrets in philippines and actually i was just putting the drone up to end this vlog and then i seen this uh, little water hole in here i'm not sure what it is there's some beautiful bamboo here I'm not sure if it's just a carabao's swimming hole or a spring, but uh, I'd really like to know. Maybe it's a secret swimming hole. Ooh, the water's a bit brown, but definitely gonna have to come back here. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful little farm anyway. Alright. Ah, uh, Slamat Philippines. I'm being...